I just uh, came back from London uh, where I uh, went to the opening of Paul Graham's uh, mid-career survey, he killed me when I called it a retrospective, uh, of his work at Whitechapel. Um, and <clears throat> Paul, I think, is one of the great photographers working today. Um, really coming out with, uh, working from the premise, there's nothing wrong with photographing something that exists. And what he's able to do is cause the viewer to ask questions, teach us where photography can go, uh, and, and sort of reach a new um, level of possibilities for uh, still photography to relate very closely uh, and powerfully to cinema and conceptual art. And I think one of the, uh, and it's not just because I'm a cat lover, one of his great uh, uh, works from the body of work called Shimmer of Possibility is uh, New Orleans or Louisiana 2005. And it's a picture of a man who takes his cat for a walk. The expression herding cats comes from the, the fact that it's very hard to tell a cat what to do. This man seems to have his cat under control. And the work is all about a walk, uh, the trust between the man and the animal, the animal being the animal, and going home. Um, uh, I don't know if it's a daily occurrence in their lives, but it's something that's happened enough that this animal feels perfectly comfortable sunbathing uh, underneath the highway overpass, uh, finding mice, uh, uh, or, or sighting mice, and Paul all the while making portraits of the man, um, of the cat, of the place, of the passage of time, uh, in sort of a way that depicts a certain special kind of beauty and also an existential space that I think few photographers have done. Um, I think it's also very interesting to see how he considers a multi-paneled piece one work, and you move through time with this work. One picture moves to the next, and it's not necessarily a logical sequence. And we learn from how he jumps from a picture that depicts the cat resting or sighting, mouse sighting to the hand uh, tattooed arm of the, the cat's owner and back to the cat and then eventually to the cat going home with him in the motel uh, where they live. So um, he's a powerful photographer and I think this is a good example of his work.